Canyon Current was at the public hearing for the Over the River project on February the 1st. In the following video, you'll see citizens who are for and citizens who are against the project. I am speaking as a citizen and not as a director of the Recreation District. I would like to express uh, my support for this project. Um, I think it's unique that we have an opportunity to get someone who has this much vision in our area and to put the project to fruition, I hope. I would request that you consider, you know, the Arkansas River is the lifeblood of our communities. Many of us in this area have worked years to clean it up and enhance the recreational opportunities. I think the EIS speaks that the rafting business will, will do well. Uh, all of this, these notions of grandeur about all of these people that are going to be here, this will be a drive-through project. There won't be any people staying here to see this project. They will come from Denver, Colorado Springs, New York City, wherever, and they will merely drive through this project, view it, take pictures, and be gone. I don't see how that's going to benefit for my county. And <laughs> any rational thinking person would realize that this, all of these problems that we bring up on our website and in these meetings and in our letters are, they're not only possible, they're probable. I hear a lot of the people that are opposed to it and I understand their concerns. I too use the river. I run a business here in Canyon City which moves people down the river. I'm a big advocate of bighorn sheep. The fishing that goes along the river, uh, the rafting, the boating, everything that goes there, I see it because I use it and I do it. Um, I'm the biggest advocate of it because I actually do those things. I believe that uh, we're very lucky to have someone like Krista come here and he did this different than anybody else would. If I was trying to do a project like this, I would stay away from those that were opposed to it. He goes right to them, finds out what they have a problem with, and mitigates that. I believe uh, Lori said there was over 100 mitigations. That's incredible. Nobody that runs a business does that. I run a business. If I know somebody's going to dislike what I'm going to do, I stay away from them. Um, <laughs> he doesn't. I think that needs to be brought out. And uh, all I can say is I'm a big supporter, and I know you guys will do the right thing and bring this to Fremont County. Thank you. Most anglers coming into the Arkansas from through Canyon City are from the front range of Colorado and from Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. They will not choose to go around the other end of the river and fish the open end during this project. I am convinced that Over the River has done everything in the world to try to mitigate traffic issues and uh, other uh, issues that would affect angling on the river. However, I can tell you that angling is a very solitary recreation and that no one is going to be happy about snuggling up next to a drilling rig, even if they just did leave a quarter of a mile five days ago. There will be noise, and the last thing we want is noise. Now, I'm not being uh, silly, and I know that uh, there will be some, and there will be uh, some dust and that sort of thing, so most people aren't going to be happy about that, and most people don't want to be crowded into an area. One of the things that I see is going to occur from this is that the Canyon City Riverwalk is going to be utilized more and more by anglers on the front range. And in uh, Table 421, there is a statement of a loss of $225,000, 421 on the environmental impact statement. $225,000 loss to the angling community during the project. That's a very conservative figure. I don't know where it came from. Uh, it would probably be lost in April of uh, the first year during the Cavus Hatch. Because of that $225,000 loss, I'd like to see Over the River make a donation of that $225,000 to the Board of Recreation, Canyon City Area Rec District, to be used to attain other funds and then used to add anger access. Thank you. Um, I do believe that this has cost taxpayers money already, and I believe that it will cost more in the future. 
but most of all, I feel that my rights are being violated by those rights of others are being magnified. For most of you, this is only a two-week project, but for me, this is a three to five year project because I live in the canyon. Highway 50 is my only way in, the only way out. I think the government has thought it through. I represent a third of the business businesses here in Canyon City. I think Christo is footing the bill. What more do we need?